It is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. We've never met before, have we? No, we no. haven't. Why is that? Do you know really? already? <laughs> <laughs> no, here, help. we'll try another one. Grab another one out. Okay. All right, show the camera. Okay. Okay, cool. Chuck the card right on top. Here we go. Ready? Watch. I'll cut the cards. Watch this. Okay. Snap your fingers. You snap them. And you blow. No, don't spit. <laughs> I don't spit. Carla, really? Them in the back. Uh, okay. That wasn't your card. That was the card before. I know your card's two cards down from that. How do you right? know that? That's so weird. That's weird, man. Come on, check your pack Yeah, yeah, go ahead. What's with the cord? I think it spits out cards. Check it. Okay. Hey guys, this is JJ here. Grab yourself a pack of cards and this is what you need to do, some pre-setup. You need to find a card. Um, you can find any card, find a card with a number on it. Um, whatever you want. I try to find a card, maybe like a four or a five, whatever. So grab the five out and this is what you're gonna do. You're going to place the five, you're gonna count down one, two, three, four, five extra cards and you're going to turn that over, okay? So pretty much what it looks like is this. You've got one, two, three, four, five random cards. Then you've got the number five, okay, turned the opposite way. And it goes together like that, okay? So pretty much it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five. And then the five, the card with the number five and then you've turned that the opposite way. You don't have to use five, you can use seven, you can use two, you can use three, but just remember if you use three, you'd go one, two, three cards, then have the three the opposite way and be after, be actually in the fourth position, okay? Then you, this is it, that's the trick pretty much. You get someone to choose a card, they have a look, you place the card on top, okay? You can either get them to cut the cards in your hand or you can just cut it. What happens now, which is really cool, is that their card's on top now, okay? So the queen of clubs, it's on top, you're placing all these little stack of cards, okay, on top of the queen of their card, okay? So that goes on top. Now you do the magical moves, abracadabra. Then as you snap, you spread out, and there's one card face up, okay? They're gonna say, that's not my card, and you go, I knew that. It's an indicator card, it's a key card. I know that your card's five cards away from that. You place those cards on top, you cut them to the top, you place the five down, or wherever, then you count down one, two, three, four, five. The next card will be their card. You say, what is your card? They say the Queen of Clubs. And you turn it over and that's their card. So once again, let's just use another card for example. Let's use a seven, okay? Here we go. Let's use the seven. So count down um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Place the card, turn it the opposite way in the neck. Place these rest on top, it's done, okay? Get someone to choose a card, great, they have a look, I won't even look, okay? Place the card back on top, cut the cards in the deck, go well, watch this. Your card, that wasn't your card? No, it was an indicated card. See, look, it's actually seven cards away from this. Ready, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards, they name their card the seven of hearts. Practice that one, it's such a cool trick. So if you'd like to learn some cool new powerful illusions like this one, check out my website, which is www.freemagiclive.com.